right? They were, their industry was too big. It was, it was already set in stone. So then I thought, okay, well, I got to do this. I, I learned a lot. I got to do this back in the States. Unfortunately, 95% of the cattle industry in the States is run by four companies. JBS, Swift, National, and XL. That's it. They run everything. And a little guy like me, they really don't care what I would like to do. They're going to do what they would like to do. So we thought the only way to really get what we want and become vertically integrated was we need to start owning our own cattle. We need to start contracting with our own feedlots. And we need to rent a facility one day a week that we could harvest these animals in. So we started with, we started with 100 head a week, went to 300 head a week. Now we're close to 2,000 head every week that we raise. We give the feed, our feed protocol. We give, uh, it's, a genetic, it's a genetically um, grown product. Of, so to give you an idea, uh, our Angus cattle, our Pureland Angus breed, is the only breed in the world that is identified through genotype, which means we pull hair follicles and tissue samples to make sure they're purebred Angus. Every other Angus program in the world, there are 63 other ones, they are all identified phenotypically, which means they look at the animal. If 50% of the hide is black, they call it black ants. So <clears throat> by becoming vertically integrated, we've really changed the landscape of what we do today. Um, customers look at us uh, much differently than they did in the past, uh, and because of it, it's just opened uh, door after door after door. Uh, today we service not just the U.S. military, every TGI Fridays, every Ruby Tuesdays, every Applebee's, uh, and then fine white, fine white tablecloths like the Del Frescos uh, of the world. So um, I think you saw a little bit of passion about what I do, <laughs> only because we love what we do. And if, when you stop loving what you do, it's time to stop doing it. <coughs> Questions? I could go on for hours. <laughs> Temporary staff, all temporary staff, and, and even today we have about 30% of our staffing is temporary because it's fluctuating in and out. Are you still considering expanding into other countries? Not from a production standpoint, but from a distribution standpoint, yes. How did you shift from production to distribution? Like, um, how did you tie them in and, and make that? Well, our, 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 our three production plant, <clears throat> I didn't talk to you about our, our manufacturing plant in Puerto Rico. We have a manufacturing plant in Puerto Rico as well. That, 